Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. And today I am going to be demonstrating how to dock a spacecraft. So, first of all, you have to have a rocket with a docking port, RCS thrusters, and enough fuel to get you into orbit. So, if you have the expansion pack, just kind of copy this rocket. It has three of the giant engines, um, a large stage, some decouplers, then it has a pair, two parachutes, three docking ports, and four RCS thrusters. So, I already have a station in orbit. I could dock with that one. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And what I'm going to do just for the to save fuel is I'm going to ignite the engine, and burn up to when I reach uh, 150 meters per second. Then I will uh, shut off this one. But basically, what you want to do is you want to select your map, click what you're trying to dock with, and hit set as target. If it is in front of where you're launching from, you want to aim for a lower orbit than its position. If it is behind you, you want to aim for a higher orbit. So it's a very basic docking craft that I have. I have tried to do two other videos before now, but I accidentally ended one early and had one time lapsed. So that's my bad. And I want to get my Apoapsis about 65 um, kilometers up. So let's do that. Now I'm going to burn. Um, when I get to just about where my Apoapsis is, I'm going to burn prograde. So I'm just going to aim that direction right now. And the good thing about this is without those boosters, it can actually make it to orbit. Um, the boosters just make it a lot quicker. So what I want to do is I want to get my apoapsis just below the... Um, apoapsis or periapsis of my other target and then the periapsis get it as close to your apoapsis as possible and that's just the easiest way to do this there's other ways but um, this is just the easiest way so um, this video will use time warp so uh, if time warp makes you dizzy or anything like that, I'll tell you when to uh, look away. As you can see, um, we're almost in orbit. There we go. Oh, wrong. Oh, crap. That's not good. So if you overshoot, just lower your throttle and burn retrograde where is my target okay there it is okay so what I want to do is I want to go to my periapsis and then burn retrograde just to even out that orbit. It's quite simple to dock, but for um, beginners or just if you've never done it before, it can be really difficult. Okay. 
Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slightly raise my periapsis. And my apoapsis, but mainly my periapsis. It can be kind of challenging to get it to the perfect orbit. But once you get it there, you don't have to worry about it, so. It's almost perfect. I just need to bring my periapsis up about a kilometer. Perfect. So what I could do is I could ditch this um, bottom stage now, which actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So all I have to do is that and that. And basically, um, I'm going to start time warping now, so it's going to go pretty quick. Uh, if you get dizzy, look away. Okay, almost there. Just a few orbits, like two, or maybe just now. Okay, let's see. Can I see the station? Yes, I can. If you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see it. And we are actually approaching it, which is a good thing. So, uh, well, I wait, I can just, actually, I can just time warp a little bit. There we go. Let's come outward even more. You can keep the main stage just to keep the uh, engine. So if you want to speed this process up without using time warp. So I'm going to use my RCS thrusters to go downward, even though there is no true direction in space. Uh. As you can see, I'm getting pretty close to the station. I have plenty of modules there already. All the solar panels are doing some graphical glitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach this to the engine piece at the very back of the station. And then, so what you want to do to dock is if you have the big pieces, just want to line up for the center. If you have the small docking port, it's just as um, easy. You just line it up. But my station has the capability of going to uh, lunar orbit and beyond, which is nice because sometimes you need to, I don't know, just if you want to go to Mars, uh, fill this station up with fuel attach the craft that you want to land on Mars and go there. And this could, in theory, get to Mars and come back. So I just want to line myself up with the docking port. The point of a station in this game is to get a large thing to orbit using a smaller rocket, which can be useful for, say, um, if you have the base game, you could just put a bunch of these together and attach them, and you could have a much larger rocket. So 
So, now that you know how to dock, um, you could most likely do an Apollo-style mission. And then, so once I get there, I can do whatever I want. I could drain the fuel, if I can find a half-empty module, like this, I could drain the fuel. So when that, all this needs like 10% fuel, I believe, to get uh, back to the ground. And everything else on this station is full of fuel. So I have more than enough to get back to the ground. So I have 16%. All I have to do is back away, just for safety so I don't hit anything. And I can mm, just burn. Easy as that. And you only have to take off a couple of meters per second to re-enter the atmosphere. Just like that. And then I will simply bring this one in for a landing. So I still have a periapsis of 5,000 meters, which is good. I'm going to try and keep it decently high. Ten kilometers should be good. And um, this is docking is good if, say, you want to, like I said, go to Mars, and you have you want to land your craft, but you might uh, not have enough fuel to return. You just take off, you dock with your station, and you use your station to re refuel your craft, or your station to return even, and it just makes everything a lot easier. Okay, now I'm going to start slowing down greatly. Just to speed this up a little bit. So wait, which one is this? Okay, yes, I can destroy that. Just a quick tip, all your space debris that you have from previous launches, it just makes the whole game a lot easier and less laggy if you destroy those. And then you don't have a uh, worry of colliding with anything or anything like that. It just is a lot easier. But um, I will try and get some videos going for Kerbal Space Program and a few other games. Leave comments below on what you would like to see for games. And uh, just so you know, I do have a PC, but it needs a new graphics card. I mainly use the Xbox. So, yeah. I'm just gonna land this. Please, if you um, would like to uh, see any more Space Flight Simulator tutorials, just say down below, uh, like this video, and uh, subscribe. Now, if you do only put one parachute on this thing, though, it will crash and burn. I am going to do a, build a Saturn V rocket next video. So, yeah. only thing they need to, that the developer needs to fix about this game is the parachutes. Parachutes don't do that. Or at least they shouldn't. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.